Hi, everybody. Anthony Calhoun back here live here in Canton, Ohio, where we're getting ready for an exciting weekend for two former Colts players, Peyton Manning, Edger, and James, getting ready to be inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Edger's big day comes your way tomorrow. Peyton Manning is on Sunday. We are here tonight at the Gold Jacket Ceremony. This is where those two players and the other guys going into the Pro Football Hall of Fame receive their jackets uh, tonight in front of so many former Hall of Famers in the NFL. Now, we had a chance to get some pictures here before the event got underway here tonight of Peyton Manning making his way here in Canton with his family there as he gets ready to Put on that gold jacket here tonight at the Civic Center here in downtown Canton, Ohio. We knew this moment was coming for Peyton Manning. As soon as the Colts drafted him back in 1998, that he would be heading to Canton, Ohio one day. And how about these pictures right here, folks? Uh, we captured here on Wish TV the gold jackets here. They were at the Hall of Fame. Uh, our photographer, Jason Thompson, got these pictures here of those jackets there making their way, transported to right here for those players and the folks heading into the Pro Football Hall of Fame to receive those jackets here at the Civic Center. What a special moment. I told you, tell you what, I got a little chills when I saw that because this moment here tonight is so special for Peyton Manning and, of course, Edger and James. And how about this photo right here? Tony Dungy sent that to me earlier today. Peyton Manning, Marvin Harris, who's already in the Hall of Fame. He went in five years ago with Tony Dungy. There you see Edger and James, Peyton Manning. Boy, to all those individuals right there bring some incredible moments to Colts Nation. Had a chance to catch up with Tony Dungy to get his take on this special night here for his two former players. This is the moment, and I, I was telling Peyton that before. Uh, you think, well, when I give my speech or some, but this is the moment. You come in, you're dressed in your suit, and they take your jacket off, put your jacket, uh, the gold jacket on, and you walk down through the crowd of Hall of Famers. And you see guys that you played with, that you played against, guys that you saw growing up, uh, that you admired. They're all there, and they're welcoming you into the group. It's a very, very emotional moment. We appreciate Coach Dungey taking the time to talk to us here on Channel 8. Hey, don't forget, everybody, we got you covered this weekend. Uh, great access for you on All Access Indy, the Hall of Fame. Coming up on Saturday is Edrin James, 30-minute special. Edrin, he did so many great things for the Colts on and off the field. The special, 30 minutes, 6.30 on Saturday. And then Peyton's big day, he'll be inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame coming up on Sunday. Special on Edrin as well, 6.30 on Sunday. All live here from Canton, all access Indy, the Hall of Fame right here on Wish TV. Meanwhile, the two guys, former team. Your Indianapolis Colts back at camp today as they continue to get ready for the upcoming season. They had yesterday off, but they were back to work today at Grand Park. And today, day eight of Colts training camp. A lot of conversation about the Colts defense involving safety Julian Blackman. Uh, he had left practice earlier today. He had a great start in training camp, but left practice earlier today due to a right knee injury. But late this afternoon, he tweeted out that uh, he expects to be back to practice tomorrow. So that's good news there. As for the rest of the defense, it was another day of dominance for Matt Eberflus and company. Head coach Frank Reich is encouraged with the next man up mentality among the horseshoe. This is football, right? It's hard, so um, you still you got to make it work. Yeah, we got Ryan out, we got Eric Fisher out, you know, we got Quentin out, we got Carson out. Um, nobody's, and that's the way it is for everybody. You know, everybody's always dealing with something. Right now, we got a bunch of them, a slew of them, at key positions. But I think it's a great opportunity for for our guys who will step up and do a good job. All right, so the Colts are back to practice coming up tomorrow at Grand Park. We will be there, and believe it or not, folks, we're a little over a week away from their first preseason game at home next Sunday against Carolina at Lucas Oil Stadium. All right, let's